Hello, my little darlings. March it right. It's right. Right. Keep it right here. Big inhale. And a big exhale. And hold your march for four, three. Now, march up three and half. And back. And up. Use those arms. Get everything warmed up. And as you'll see, I have my bench. We use it several times, and I have two sets of weights. Listen up. Going to change one thing. March up three and a knee. March back three and a knee. And up. And back. And up. And squat it down and up. So we did all that on a right leg. So we're just going to repeat it all on a left leg. So march in place left for four, three, left leg. March up three and tap. And back. And up. Up. Alrighty. Making a change. March up three and a knee. Back of the knee. One, two, three, knee. Back, two, three, knee. One more. And squat it down and up. Now we're going to go back to a right lead. And we're going to alternate it to half. Two more squats. Here's two. Alternate and tap. Right left. Four, three. Now alternate a knee and press overhead. For four, three. Alternate a kick, opposite arm and opposite. Side tap, right, left. Here's four, three. Step touch right left. For four, three, lunges, reaching and reach. Reach. Hold it here. Now we're going to put this together. You'll so step touch up four, lunges, reaching, step touch back four, and then lunges, reaching. So listen up. Step touch up four, lunges, reaching four. Step touch back, right lead. And then give me those lunges. Four. Step touch up. And lunge. Step touch back. And lunge. One more time after that. Step touch up. Lunges. For eight, seven, four, three, squat it down and up for four. And we're going to go to a right V after two. Right V, right and back. Now, here in a minute, we're going to change to a left V. And four, and three. Left V, you can see that little tap, and then we're going to cut it down to four on each side. And two, right V for four, four, three, two, left V for four, here's four, and then we're going to cut it down to two of each. On the right for two. Left for two. Right for two, and then we'll do one each. Left for two, and listen up. Starting right, alternate to these, so one each. This is coming into play later. 
while we're working on it now. Back. Now the arms are going to add 
is a chest press with the front, overhead press, and go back. Chest, try to touch the elbows, press overhead. Chest, and overhead. Four more. Jump rope. 
over and back. Out, out, and in. Last time through. Knee. March or jump rope. Over and back. Out, out, and in. And then march your right. Woo! All righty. Going back to the warm up. You're going to step touch up four. Lunges reaching. Step touch back. Lunges reaching. Right lead. Step touch up four. Lunges reaching. Four. Take it back. So everything's on a right lead. Lunges right left. Keep it going. Take it up, and then I'll show you how to make it harder. Lunge, so instead of step touching, you can do a two-foot and hop. Everybody lunge. Take it up. Lunge. Take it back. And lunge. Take it up. Tummy tight. Lunge. Take it back. Lunge. Do it one more time. Take it up. Lunge. Take it back. Lunge. Everybody march. Alrighty. So, you're going to give me a knee smash to the right, front kick to the left. And four, three, knee smash and kick. Knee smash, kick. Now, if you really turn and get that knee up, you'll really work that weight. Tummy nice and tight. Four, three, and march. So you know, we got to do it the other way. Knee smashes left, so march left. Kick will be right. Four, three, knee smash and kick. Knee smash, kick, knee smash. Stand tall, make the leg come up. Woo! Four to finish. Four, three, two, and march. Woo! All right. We're going to go back to the warm-up. We're just going to march up three and a knee. March back three and a knee. So march it right. March up three and knee. And back. Now, when we do this knee, I want you to think about doing a crunch. Crunch. Up. Crunch. Think about your abs. Exhale. Right when you do that knee. Up. You're almost there with this side. Two to go. Last one. March it right. Woo! Big inhale. Big exhale. Stop your march. March it left. Same thing, just doing it left. March up three and a knee. And back. Alrighty, do it again. Make it a crunch when you do the knee. Just like you're on a mat. Like 
you to do that crunch. Arms come down and march. 
Alrighty, so either on your bench or on the floor, we're gonna do an eight count deadlift. Alternating dip to the back with a kick back. So I'm gonna go with my lighter weight. I'm squatting with my legs. My head is above my heart. All right, remember, hang on, I better go this way. Well, I will not have a head. Chest stays up. You come to a flat back, and then you alternate those hips, okay? Here we go, deadlift. Dips with a kick back. And then deadlift, abs are tight. Dip and kick it back. Deadlift. Now, you can go straight back with those kickbacks if you want. Deadlift. First, you want to work a little deeper. Rotate the palm to face the ceiling. Deadlift. Lap back, abs tight. Deadlift. Kick it back. Just a few more. Deadlift. Kick it back. One more time, all the way through. Deadlift. Kick it back. And take a break. So notice my head stayed up above my heart looking at you the whole time. And that is what you want. Squat. Release your weight. You're not going to need them for this next thing. Whew. We're going to be on the floor. You're just going to squat. Abduct, squat, and abduct. Leading with the heel toward the ceiling, okay? Squat, abduct, right. Squat, abduct, left. Keep a slight bend in the knee. Heel to the ceiling, toe to the floor, hands up high on the thigh. Woo! Suck your tummy in. Retract the shoulders, chest up high. Woo! Four, three, two, and last one in March. Woo! Alrighty. As long as you keep moving, you can have some water. We're gonna go back to cardio. All right. Sorry about it. Gotta have some air, but it's killing my bus plan. All righty. So, just pull out your imaginary jump rope. Here we go. Now, remember, if you just want a calf pump, your toes stay on the mat, but your heels are coming up. Hop back together. Out. 
Hop it in. Out. Really sit back in it. Out, out. Really sit back in it. Out, out. If one, pop it out. Pulse for two. Pop it in. Pop out. And in. Out. And in. Woo! Last four. Three. Starting with the right leg, three alternating front kicks, fast squat, then it starts with the left. So, three and one, four, three, starting right, three front kicks, three, two, fast squat, left, right, then keep it low, four, three, two, Starting left, starting right, left, right, and left, right, left, one more time each leg, right, and then left to finish. And march. All right. Woo! Catch your breath. Going back to some weights. So, we're gonna go back to the warm up. Just step touch for now. You'll face your bench. Lunge knee three times. Lunge and tap in. Other leg. Lunge to the knee three times, and then that tap is what lets you switch lead legs. But we're gonna add some arms too. So when you do the knee, it'll be a side shoulder raise with the knee. We'll get the legs going first, don't worry. And march. I'm only gonna with my fives because this is a combo move. So we're gonna start with just the legs. Track your shoulders. Right leg, lunge knee. Three, two, lunge and tap. Left leg, lunge and knee. Lunge and then tap. Right leg, lunge, knee. Lunge and tap. Other leg, lunge. Arms go out on the knee. And then a tap, right leg, and the tap, other leg, Woo. and the tap, right leg, and the tap, last time, other leg. thinking I want to go lighter than this. Woo. So squat. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to be alternating a V with a kickback. Then you can do it out to the side or you can be doing it straight back. So squat, get the way you like, and then march it right. So we'll start with the legs. Just an alternating slow V, okay? First to right. Up, up, and then left. Just a few more slow. And then we'll speed it up to tempo. Alrighty, to tempo. Now the left. 
Send the arms in. Add the kickback. So put it on that tap. Now you're seeing why I went with the threes. And make it a kick. 
squat, hit, hit, four, and it becomes a ham, two, and a ham, last eight, seven, Woo! four, three, And shake it out. Woo! Alrighty. You know, we got to do it all on the other leg. I'm going to turn this way. So it's eight of each. Big inhale. Big exhale. Starting with the tap. And here we go for eight. Weight in the heels. Four, and make it a knee, Woo. four, and then we're going to make it a kick, kick, eight, you want to keep the knee. Two. Ham. Flex the heel. Get yourself in the glute. Four. And march it down. Woo! Shake it out. <coughs> All righty. I'm going to bring your heart rate down just to be it. But we're going to use our bench. Heel front. Whew. We're going to use our bench. Sit on the end and do side bends. And then we'll do a V sit with bicep curls. So I'm just going to have you march up your hands heel. March back three and heels to march your right. Big inhale. March up three and a heel. And back. Now as you come up, inhale. As you go back, exhale. Now on this next one, freeze this heel right here. Freeze it. Static. Stretch hamstrings. My hips are square. They're not opened up or anything weird. My hands are up high. My head's above my heart. And my back is flat. Good job. Release it. Other leg. Static stretch. Good job. Release it. March out, out, in, in. Bring your heart rate down a little bit before we sit still. And then after that, we'll be put down to mat. Now, march it wide and hold it here. Breathe. And our thigh stretch. All the same rules apply. Hands are always up high. On your waist, even better. And your waist, then this hip and heel. Your back is flat. Release it. Other side. You're feeling it right through there right now. Center it up. Crawl your feet in. Heel to toe. And then round your back. Hug your chin. Get a good stretch for the upper back. And then release it. And roll it up. All right, so I'm going to bring my bench a little closer we can see me. So you're just going to sit on the end. We're just going to do a side bend. Turn that down a tad. Alrighty. So you're sitting up nice and tall. So you're thinking about your waist. Woo! So retract your shoulders. I want you to think about touching your pinky to the mat, okay? Right and then left. Right and then left. 
legs are wide. Try not to let your glutes right up. Like when you're going to one side, you don't want this glute coming up. So the legs wide, that'll help. That kind of gives you a foundation. Reach, touch your finger, that middle finger to the mat if you can. Woo! Four to go. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. So we're gonna do a V sit with biceps curls. So think about the weight that you want to use. Now, you need to keep your feet on the ground. If you want to, you can have your feet up in the air, okay? And up to down to curl. Up and down. Up, working your abs, and then working your biceps. And even if you do this, at any time if you need to take a little break, feel free to. You can even keep your feet on the floor and just lean back more. That'll force those abdominals to engage. <clears throat> Single count for eight, seven, four, two, and one. Good job. So, put the weights down. Now later, when we do our abs, I might have you use some weights. It'll be up to you, they'll be optional. Hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna have you bridge up. Do a double, both arms, doing a tricep, and then back down. So I think I'm gonna use my fives. So now that you know what you're doing, it'll help you decide what to do. So, come on back. Woo. And you're gonna bridge up. So you're pressing through your heels. Woo. Abs are tight, retract your shoulders. Now come down for two, towards your shoulders, and back up. Down, and then back up. Now make sure your shoulders are not off the mat. Your palms are facing. And from your shoulders to your elbows, nothing is moving. Just that hinge in the elbows. Down and lift. Abs are tight, pressing through those heels. So you're getting some hamstrings and glutes as well. Also, getting the waist a little bit. Two to go. <clears throat> Last one. And take a break. Good job. Alrighty. So we still need to work back. So I just want you to come onto all fours. And we're just gonna work this right arm. You're just gonna give me a side raise. Two more. Now, lat row, straight back. To the side, squeeze that elbow. Excuse me, not the elbow. <laughs> Lat row, squeeze the shoulder blades together is what I was trying to say. And to the side, for four, three. Squeeze on that shoulder blade. Lat rows to finish, four, three, two, Take a break. So you know, what we do on one side, we gotta do on the other. Whew, so it's three sets of four to the side and four to the back. Retract those shoulders and to the sides. So you're squeezing those elbows. The, what do I wanna say, elbows? Two, lat row. You're squeezing the shoulder blades, is what I'm trying to say. And squeeze those shoulder blades. And a lat row for four. I'm feeling this. I don't know about you. My shoulders are really burning. 
Alrighty, to the side. And lat row to finish. Four, three. Awesome. Woo! Alrighty, let's work some chest. So onto your back, feet are on the floor. Woo! Retract those shoulders, chest press, straight up. Now add the lower body to match the upper body. So you're pressing through those heels. Woo! Just feel us in our whole head. Keep it going. Getting chest, hamstrings, glutes. Four. Three. Two. And bring it down. Good job. Alrighty, so I'm gonna use my threes. Because we're gonna go into more just abdominal stuff. And then we'll also work our outer thighs. So to start, just put one weight between your knees. And if you don't want to use the weight, that's fine. The weight's optional, okay? This is just for the ones that want to. Now you gotta make sure you gotta hold it really well, and then your feet are together. Now all you're gonna do, take your arms out to the side, palms face the ceiling, you're gonna drop your knees as far as you can to one side, and then back to the middle. Drop them as far as you can to the other side, and then back to the middle. So go over, and back to the middle, and you gotta keep it squeezed in between Keep both shoulders on the mat. Just a few more. Down and up. Down and up. One more each side. Down and up. Last one. Down and up. Good job. All righty. So you're just going to take this one weight and you're going to put it behind your neck. So you're actually going to kind of like rest your head on it. So, I'm sorry, think of it more as the head than the neck. So it's actually going to help you. Like when you do crunches and you're having to hold the back of your head. This is one time that adding the weight is going to help. So you're holding it end to end. Elbows are out to the side. Suck your tummy in. And lift and low. Lift, lower. Don't worry about the music. We're just trying to cool us down, I think. And we're not ready. Last four. Last three. Last two. And last one. Good job. Now, grab the match to this, whatever you're using. Whew. Alrighty. So, you're just going to come up, you've got your knees at 90 degrees, and you're going to touch the weight underneath, and then back down, okay? Up and touch. Up and touch. Up and touch. Now, to make it harder, instead of the weight being horizontal, have them vertical and touch. Just make sure you come up a tad bit higher. Touch. Touch. Four, three, two, and last one. Good job. Now take one way down. Now this next one's pretty hard. So if you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't use the weight, just do the legs. But one of the ones that do feel comfortable, you have got to squeeze your weight between right where your shoes curve in, okay? Right where that end step is. And we're gonna do lower leg raises. So you're gonna start at the top, hands underneath your glutes, and down three. Down, down, down and lift. Down three, three, two, one, lift. I just realized I don't have a head again. Lift, down, down, down and lift. Down, down, 
Last one, they're hard. Down, 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 and lift. So, safely get rid of the weight first. Alrighty, you do not need any weight. We are gonna work our outer thighs. So you know how when we do fire hydrants, so you have a nice tabletop and you're coming straight out to the side and back down, we're gonna add on. So you're gonna come out to the side, extend the leg, in and down, okay? Hands are right underneath your shoulders. Retract the shoulders, just the right leg. Here we go, so it's up, extend, in, and down. Extend, in, hang on, let's get on the beat here, I'll make you nuts. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Two to finish this side, and I'll give you a stretch before we do the other side. Up, extend, and take a stretch. Sit into the hip. Good job. Same thing, other side. And get ready to do it on the other side. Whew. So now, when I really want you to, the higher your leg is up, the harder you're working, okay? Retract those shoulders. Alrighty. Left leg, here we go. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, really press through that heel. Up, really press through that heel. Two to go. Last one. Awesome. Sit in it. Get a nice stretch of those hips. And same thing, other side. Woo! Good job. While you're here, take one foot back. Let me come in an angle. Doesn't matter which. And you're just gonna press back. So you're going your calf muscles. If you wanna come all the way up and really press that heel, you can. Whichever way works for you. Good job. And then release it. And switch legs. I didn't have a hit again. <laughs> and get a nice stretch for those calf muscles. Good job. And come to one side. Doesn't matter which. And get a good quad stretch. Chest up. Wow. Well, obviously, this was still hard for me a little bit, but it was way easier than step yesterday. Other leg. So, it'll take me a week or two to get all my wind back. Plus, when it's hot like this, that makes it a lot harder, too. Good job. Now, just cross that leg over. Turn and look behind you. You're gonna feel your outer thigh. You're gonna feel it open it up to your shoulders. Then you feel your way back. Good job. Switch legs. The other leg crosses over. And look behind you. Good job. And just cross the leg over. And bring the chest to meet the leg. We did some, we did lots of lunges outer thighs, some inner thighs. So we want to make sure we get them stretched back out. And then switch legs. Bring the chest to meet the leg. Don't bring the knee toward the chest. Good job, and then release it. Take your legs out nice and wide. And toes are pointing up. Just hinge forward, just to the point that is comfortable for you. 
and then release it. Face your left leg, one hand on each side of your leg. Bring your chest, you're not bringing your shoulder, you're bringing your chest. Feel your hamstrings, inner thighs, feel your calf muscles. Good job, release it. Now back to the center, crawl it out just to the point that's comfortable. I don't want to hear any snack, crackle, or pops. Woo. Good job. And then release it. Now walk it over to the right side. One hand on each side of the leg, bringing the chest to meet the leg, not the shoulder. Good job. And then release it. Take it back to the middle. And one arm over head from tricep, doesn't matter which, we'll get them both. Woo. And release it and other arm now this time we're going to get your waist so you're going to bring it on care which side you work one arm to the mat and then reach across so this time your shoulder is facing as opposed to your chest facing so now you're feeling your lats and you're feeling your waist and then release it same thing other side try to keep both glutes on the mat and just reaching Woo, should feel good. Good job. And then just come up onto all fours. Bring your belly button toward the mat. Head and glutes to the ceiling. Looking up at the ceiling. Feel those abdominals. Good job. And then release it. And let's get a good stretch for those hip flexors. Bring the leg out nice and far. Rock the hips forward. Lean into it. But that leg's out far enough that even in the out position, that knee's lining up over the ankles. Arms come out to the side, press back with your thumbs. I'm gonna feel it all the way through here. Good job. And then release the arms, release the leg, switch legs. Other leg out in front, nice and far. Rock the hips forward, lean into it. All right? Now, once you've got that going on, interlace your arms behind your back, squeeze lift, feel your chest, your biceps, shoulders, and then release it, and knees are together, big inhale through your nose, Whew. and a big exhale through your mouth, and guess what, you are done, yay, so looking for some text. I don't care, just a word or two. All you gotta do, text me, favorite move. Love going around the world. Or I love when we do the chair. So give me something. <laughs> Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.